Hello, Brooklyn Kevin 17 here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Clock Tower set. This set is 922 pieces, and let's get into it. First, let's take a look at these minifigures. We got 11 right here. Um, let's start off with Harry Potter. Um, he um, does have the the hair that they've been using for the movies that take, uh, sets that take place in the fourth movie. That's pretty cool. He has a little suit on. Very nice. Some back printing on there, too. And he does have, uh, the medium-sized legs in black. He got his little happy, smiley face print there. And he does have his scar up top. And he has a little more of a stern face. Right there. Um, so that's all for Harry, um, Ron, we'll look at next, um, he's got his hair, um, and then he, um, oh yeah, he has a wand, Harry has a wand too, um, but, yeah, anyway, um, his suit is nice, it, um, it looks really cool, I really like the printing on there, since in the movie, um, it is like a homemade type suit. It is uh, very accurate, I would say. It gives some good back printing too. Um, very nice. And again, medium lights of black. Happy face print and angry face print. Um, and then her Hermione Granger we can look at. She's got her uh, dress on and she's got a different hair piece. It's got a little bun and a ponytail. This is a, a custom printed hair piece for this set, which is nice, as far as I know. Um, it is a very nice hair piece. Um, her dress is nice, too. Uh, since she is not an adult, instead of having the, the dress piece, like her, there, we'll take a look at her next. Um, it's just a... Uh, one by two brick, which I think works nicely. No printing on the back, just in the front there. And you have a plate at the bottom to make it a little taller. And then she has kind of her, her just standard face. And also a angry face. And yeah, so that's it for like the main three. And take a look at Floor Delacour. Delacour, I probably pronounced her name wrong. But that's what... Her name is, I guess. Um, she's got this plain, uh, new style dress piece. It is just, uh, plain. There's no printing on it, which, yeah. Um, they do have the, uh, her printing for her torso is, uh, a little reflective and shiny, which I think is good. Um, printing on front and back. She has kind of a smirk type thing going on there. Oh, and she does have this hair piece. Nothing insane there. And she also has a worried or afraid face print, which is nice. Um, and then we're going to take a look at Cedric Diggory. Um, he's got a suit on too. He does have just standard legs, not the... Shorter ones, but yeah, he has a suit on, and yeah, his hair print is nice. It's not exclusive, but it's a nice hair print. Uh, and then alternate face there, and uh, got Cedric, he got his fin hair piece there, smiling, uh, angry, nice chest torso printing, and just black legs there. And then we have the f the uh, one the one of the last characters, Madame Max Maximine. Um, I like how the printing it kind of continues on from the torso to the uh, dress printing. And this isn't a standard dress; it is um, a much larger print. And you do have printing on the back too, which is very nice. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, you have a nice hair printing there. 
printing piece there too, and nice face. And, uh, I don't really know how to explain it. That face kind of sad or worried, I guess. And then final character, Albus Dumbledore. I like his dual hat molding thing. Hat and hair combo. Which, take a look at there. That's very nice. I dropped it. But yeah, um, he does have a beard too. And he has that face and then a smiley face. And then let's just take that beard off. Finally got it off so you can look at his suit printing. Very nice there. Um, nice suit. And got him back printing on that too. And then a dress piece with them printing on it this time. This is just the standard dress piece. So yeah, now let's get into the set itself. So here is the set itself. We can take a look on the outside first. You got some brick stickers there. Um, and this set is meant to go on with the Hogwarts Tower, or not Tower, but the other um, castle sets. So you can kind of put them together. I'll show you how that looks in a second. But yeah, and then you have a clock here which, oh, there's a play function where you can turn it. I'll show you how that works in a second. But yeah, you can turn it, get a little, another clock there. So that's nice. Yeah, so you turn those hands to say whatever time you want. You got the windows here, and then the entrance in here. You got some unicorn pieces there to make some decorative things. So let's just get in. Here is the clock tower section, first of all. You got the goblet of fire right there. And a chest with nothing in it, as of now. Um, you have a desk with a little writing thing here. A little thing you can write in. And then... You have a book with a Lingardia Leviosa printing there. And then you got some potions, it looks like, and a uh, lamp or something. Um, you got another lamp there and a container. And then you have a sign here. We can take that out. It's supposed to be of a truck board. It looks like it says movie, Moody, and it says Unforgivable, so... That is nice. Um, then you move up here to what looks like a bedroom. You have some towels or something. Then you have two um, bedside stands, some beds, which those are pretty nice. They have this nice piece here. It's not close to the set, but it's pretty um, new piece, so that's nice. And it's just... A tile with some studs on it, as you can see there. And then, yeah, they just got some pillows and stuff in there. And, yeah. So, and then this is how the clock moves. So, you see, as I'm moving that, the clock is moving over here. So, that is nice. Okay, so now we got the clock tower section. The little offspring here. You got, uh bath here, and then you got that mermaid picture right there. Yeah, right there. There we go. Meant to look like uh, the stained glass window from the bathroom. Got the bath there. And the uh, Goblet of Fire movie, I think it is. Um, you got um, uh, an office here. With a thing and a cup. And you got some books and pictures and stuff. And then up here, you have a sword, which you can take out. It's just a normal old sword piece. You can put it in somebody's hand, too, if you really wanted to. And then you have the star of the show, the dance floor, right here. Uh, you can put some people on it, like Riley and... Let's get, let's get her on there. And then, yeah, just... Dance, 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 dance. 
they can dance, which is cool. Oh, oh no. So yeah. Um, and before we stop looking at the set, um, there are some other stuff. Um, there's two tables right here. One's got like an ice sculpture on it, it looks like. And one's just kind of, uh, got some cups on it and stuff. I believe this is supposed to be an art sculpture, but yeah, other than that, the tables are pretty much identical. There's just some different stuff on it. And then a Christmas tree, um, you know, just a good Christmas tree build. You got a little topping up there with, um, yeah, you can turn it around. It's snowy Christmas tree, kind of. But yeah, so that is the set. Now let's take a look at the instructions. So here are the instructions. Pretty thick book. Not the thickest. I've seen thicker instruction booklets in my day. But yeah, um, you have all the instructions. How to make the Christmas tree. Yeah. But then, as you can see, they got um, just a Lego ad over here, just standard Lego ad, I guess. And some sets. I have that one, that one, that one. I have all the Harry Potter sets now. Except for the, uh, uh few of the Fantastic Beast one. And one I can't remember that's actually a little newer, actually. It's the carriage one. Um, and also the, uh, there's a graveyard one that was a limited time thing. And then, yeah, you can put all of it together. You got the Hogwarts thing, the, uh, uh, Whomping Willow, and now the Clock Tower over here. So, yeah, that's it for the instruction booklet. Now I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put, put together. Okay, so here is my final Harry Potter setup. It's kind of crammed, but you have the... Hagrid's hut here, the Agagog thing there, the Whomping Willow there, all of Hogwarts Castle here, you got the uh, dragon and Harry Potter up there, the Quidditch Arena is kind of in here, and also that for the dragon part, and then you have, yeah, all of Hogwarts there, and then down here you have platform nine and three quarters and the Hogwarts Express and then you have oh uh the triple decker bus um and yeah this would ideally in a perfect world go here or here that's where I had them but it's here now because it was very crammed so I had to move that down there but I'll just this is the entire thing and as you can see it is connected here but here it's not because ideally it's supposed to go this way but couldn't really do that with my setup so a little gap in between there and that there's a gap in between there too but this is my setup so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um bye guys